When looking at the stats of NEO, delivery numbers are the very first everybody will look at. But lately the vehicle registration numbers and with it the monthly delivery numbers weren't looking too good. What is happening now is that there is a new trend being formed which can be seen while looking at the weekly registrations and this is what we are going to do in today's video. As you can see, I did collect the weekly registration numbers of the last 8 weeks and added them into this chart. It is very obvious to see that there is a new trend forming from the start of June to the beginning of July. This trend starts from 1,500 registrations in June to 4,100 vehicles in the latest week with almost three times as many registrations. One reason and also the main reason for the trend is that now NEO has seven different models in their car portfolio. Since May, NEO has started delivery of the ES6, the ET5 Touring, the EC7 and the new ES8. In addition to them, NEO has also released a new upgraded version of the ET7. The ES6 is likely the vehicle that has the strongest impact on delivery numbers because it is the lowest priced SUV available. This also shows in the June delivery numbers as the SUV sales were for the first time of the year higher than the sedan numbers led by the ET5. If you didn't believe me back then, that the availability of the models had a big impact on delivery numbers, maybe you are convinced now? The more interesting question is whether this trend will hold on for a longer period and how high it can go. As I said, the new models are the main reason but there are also other factors like government tax credit and the purchasing power of the Chinese population that have their own impact on deliveries. At least the car sales seasonality is now in favor of the deliveries. The most recent vehicle registration numbers from July 3rd to July 9th have been at 3,100 units for this period. The number of registrations is usually lower during the beginning of the months and keeps growing throughout it. If we now compare it to NEO's strongest delivery month, which was December 2022, you see that in the same period, the recent registration numbers are higher than the equal ones in December. Keep in mind that back then, NEO delivered 15,815 vehicles. So I think that it is possible that we might see up to 16,000 deliveries in July. As you might know, I did a 2023 delivery estimation based on NEO sales in the past and I am currently off 28,000 vehicles. This has multiple reasons, but I didn't delete the table and I won't delete it until the year is over. One reason is that back then the new ES6 wasn't even announced and I didn't add the new ES6 deliveries in the table but instead I went with the deliveries of the first generation platform cars. At the beginning months I was actually pretty close, where some others were surprised by lower deliveries in January and February, I was well aware of the seasonality. Still the deliveries were slightly lower than what I expected. But I didn't expect the low deliveries in April and May with slightly over 6,000 units. For July, I have an estimation of 17,650 units and we should see deliveries to be pretty close to them. The models that disappointed the most were the ET7 and the ES7. Deliveries of these two models were pretty low throughout the year so far. But what are your thoughts on delivery numbers for July? And do you think that deliveries will reach the 16,000 units? Let me know in the comments and I wish you a nice day.